Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today I have a boot review for you. Now, if you're like me, and you like a kind of more rigid, kind of hiking boot style of boot, um, but they're not really quite tall enough, uh, but regular height combat boots are too tall, then this uh, might be for you. Now, um, this is my second pair of these boots. Um, this is the revised version. I used to have the older... Um, actual German uh, army version of these that was unbranded um, but still made by this company they look pretty much exactly the same as this but without uh, the Hakes logos on them so these are the Mountain Trooper lights uh, made by Hakes and um, as uh, most of you probably know uh, the German uh, army's mountain troops uh, use a shorter version of their standard infantry route that is lined with Gore-Tex. Other than that, uh, most of these uh, changes are just like aesthetic. Um, they have a little bit stiffer outsole, a um, little bit uh, harder rubber outsole to deal with the terrain that they're working in, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same boot. Now, um, we'll get rid of this one because we're gonna get a lot of boots up here on this this uh, chair here. So um, here's the Hakes Mountain Trooper Light. Uh, as you can see, it is a smooth leather, uh, triple stitching. Um, looks like it was made to be four rows, uh, but they skipped a row on pretty much all the, the stitching layers, all the wear points. Um, uh, has heel relief, which is pebbled leather like the standard German common boot. The collar is padded and vented of pebble leather. It is lined with a leather around the collar, and then the inside is Gore-Tex. Um, tongue is smooth leather, tongue is rigid, uh, there you can see the size there, uh, 280, 109, uh, which is about where I like it, because, uh, as long as it's over 107 wide, and it's between a 275 and 280, uh, that's about my size, um, has the same, uh, zinc alloy eyelets that the standard, um, German army, uh, Model 27, uh, 2007 boots come with. Uh, it has eyelets. These eyelets do rotate, though, um, to allow to uh, adjustment. As you can see, some of them are a little little out of whack. Um, but that's all right, because they'll move next time I tie them. Uh, it has an extra hook to make sure the tongue doesn't shift around, um, which is uh, good when you're hiking. And um, it has a pretty aggressive outsole. So there's the outsole. Now I will compare it to a standard model 2007 combat boot. Now this one is a little beat up as you can see, but uh, still that same full rubber rand. A um, little bit different outsole. Um, size 280. These are 28107 I think. Um, it says on the inside of the tongue here. Nope, these are 28109 as well. So these are the same size. Um, as you can see, this has quadruple rolls of stitching instead of just three. Um, it has a pebbled leather, still has the same heel relief. Uh, this one has a pull on it, padded color, and this one is fully leather lined. Um, although the leather does change color. Uh, pebbled tongue, same tongue construction as you can see here. Uh, switches leather to double layers up there. This one's just a more aggressive V cut in it. Uh, they have the same uh, kind of laces, the same cotton laces, the same uh, kind of eyelets. Um, but as you can see, this boot is just slightly shorter. Uh, the mountain boot is anyways. Uh, this one is uninsulated, but it is padded. Uh, this one is padded and uh, has a Gore-Tex lining. So a uh, little bit hot in the summer. These can both, both pairs of these can get a little bit warm in the summer. But I really like these uh, boots right here because standard hiking boots can get a little bit low. Um, I really like hiking boots. I wear hiking boots most of the time. Uh, the lowness gives me the breathability and stuff. But uh, especially when it comes to winter, I want something a little taller. So here is my my hiking boots, my winter hiking boots. Um, as you can see, these are all pretty much heavily German-based. Um, these are kind of like an older style. This would be like a more 50s, uh, 60s style of hiking boot, fully leather lined, uh, padded, uh, but not insulated or anything like that. And you can see the height progression. So... Something between, this is really good, you know, all right, but uh, they're a little bit short for the winter, especially with the snow and everything, uh, whereas these can be a bit tall for the winter, um, and, you know, that kind of hinders your flexibility, but this is perfect, and it's right in the middle, and I figured that you guys would 
um, like to get my recommendation on these. And uh, now if you can afford these, highly recommend them. But this is like a $300 pair of boots. Um, it's not really a mountain boot, even though it's called the Mountain Trooper. Um, it's more like a glorified hiking boot because it's just... It's just nowhere near as stiff as it needs to be to be a mountain boot, but it's it's stiff enough to be a hiking boot. It's it's going to be a damn good hiking boot uh, for you if you like that sort of thing. Uh, the leather collar, uh, padded and everything, Hakes uh, makes a very very nice boot. Um, there should be there's going to be break in time on this, but it shouldn't be break in time that is uncomfortable on your feet as long as you're tying these correctly. They should feel pretty comfortable. Uh, I might not wear them for a full like six to eight hours. Uh, right when you get them immediately, but um, I can wear these uh, for a lot longer period of time um, than I could like my actual mountain boots than than these because these are murder on your feet. Um, but these shouldn't be too bad. Um, they're going to have a break in time, obviously, uh, but it's not going to be anywhere near as aggressive as an actual mountain boot or like a normal hiking boot because Hakes uh, really uh, makes some quality products. Um, they back their products, so if you have any problems with them, Hakes should correct it uh, for you relatively easy. Uh, but you shouldn't have any problems because Germans are known for their efficiency and uh, their and uh, you know everything like that, their quality. So you shouldn't have any problems with them. But if you do, they will take care of it for you. Now it's actual uh, name brand Gore-Tex in here, uh, not some knockoff used by anything. There's the actual name brand Gore-Tex registered tag in there so you know it's real Gore-Tex and uh, they're they're very nice but you get what you pay for when it comes to shoes and a lot of people don't realize that so I figured I'd give you the uh, give you a review on these as far as how I feel about them um, I do wish they were fully leather lined that's my only gripe um, but the uh, Gore-Tex lining in this isn't like loose uh, like a lot of other boots um, as you can see it's very very tightly uh, stitch in there I don't think it's going to shift or move around on me or wrinkle or anything like that like a lot of other uh, boots do kind of like uh, the army's combat hikers the early ones where the Gore-Tex sock that's in there actually isn't like sewn into the boot at all it can actually like move and kind of like turn inside out when you take your foot out of it that shouldn't happen with this these are a very nice high quality boot and um, if you guys are looking for a good kind of mid-range boot that would be good for both summer and winter uh, as well as like your normal kind of around the office, your everyday runs to the store, and you know, getting off trail. Um, this would be a good boot for you guys, as long as um, you don't get hot feet. Um, if you're kind of like me and you have really good circulation, uh, and you get hot feet, you might want to shy away from this, because they will get a little warm. Um, but if you don't, uh, this, this would be a very, very good boot for you. So uh, hopefully you like this video, you like this review and everything like that. If you like uh, if you have any questions on this or additional information or anything else that you're looking for, anything close to this, there's a lot of stuff you can get close to this that's cheaper. Uh, if you want any suggestions or anything like that, or if you have a specific kind of foot style or anything, uh, leave that in the comments and I'll do my best to help find something that fits good for you. Uh, if you have any additional information, if you have any experience using these as well, I'll leave the review down in the comments as well so people that are looking for it can get some information. Uh, on it as to how you thought it fit and everything like that or if you had any problems with these uh, I'd very much like to know that in the comments as well um, thank you so much for watching you guys and hopefully I'll see you in the next video bye